with a flourishing soul or to a person who has understood himself or herself they will live not by comparing to anyone to build a society which is flourishing it's very important to build individuals who will be flourishing a very well organized methodology is that to know yourself satsang to be the truth it all depends on the way you look at the creation we all are continuously in the journey of the truth namaste i welcome you all for today's satsang so if you have any questions you can unmute and ask the question is how can we build a society where people can flourish here when we see the dynamics of society functioning the people who make the rules regulations principle under which the society functions basically they will not have any idea how to create a society where it flourishes and also till now even in the name of democracy the decision made by only few people where the whole society has to follow that decision even though it appears we elect them and they represent us but a democracy also has its own limitations the voters can be influenced and in this present day even with having so much technology and everything also even who are representing a particular political party or an ideology who are seeking your votes can very easily influence you through the strategies what they make in their marketing promotion or social media presence through such things they can easily influence your mind and the most like a danger thing is if you look at the whole strata or the people who are representing the society the generation which is living in that society is conditioned in a totally different way where the flourishing is given in the hands of internet the flourishing is given in the hands of conditioned parents the flourishing is given in the hands of education which is one of the main key role players which influences the flourishing of the society or the direction of the society so in that education where is the place for human evolution here only market based education system is there they may create people in the name of education like a finished products 
who fit to function in some factories or a system already which is established or in the name of education they are all teached to follow some ideology or to believe in something what is good even we can take a very good example of the uh, let's say psychology and presently in this planet as a product of the education there are thousands of psychologists and how they are treating the people having the mental issues or psychological issues is very insane in a way they seem they try to help but they don't know how to help who are having the psychological issues or they guide them in a very foolish way that they end up creating some other belief systems in them and they make them to believe oh you carry this negative thoughts in you or like that only by looking at the mind they treat the persons that is the main limitation to build a society which is flourishing it's very important to build individuals who will be flourishing society is like a ocean individuals are like rivers they all flow to the ocean how they are flowing towards the ocean and what sort of ocean is created what sort of society is created that is the deciding factor when comes to the individual flourishing what is that individual flourishing it is so 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 insane to understand if you ask human beings on this planet 99% of the humans they can't ask by what they are made up of if you ask them existentially by what you are made up of oh they tell oh, i have a body then they may tell oh yes i have a mind that's why the whole society program is built on body mind basis and when only body and mind exists that is in fact a negative growth happens in the society because the combination of mind living for body and body living for mind is one of the worst combination why because it becomes a loop or a vicious circle mind begins to orient the execution of life only aligning to body experiences if you see how you spend your life is mainly on body satisfaction i want to eat this i have to see this i have to hear this i have to meet such a such a person like this only body experiences meaning the sense perception based what happens through body see sense perception happens at many levels because sense perception in the end it indicates the ability to perceive ability to perceive is the basic of living because without perception you can't feel you live 
No, in the end, we are all living. We should feel we are living. That's life, in fact. That's the living, in fact. That's the ability to perceive the self. Actually, the whole manifestation of the nature from the consciousness is to feel itself. The feeling of the presence is life in a way. When we understand these dynamics of expression of life, it is very clear that perception is very important and it should not be fixed to only sense perception based. Only five senses. If you limit your whole life towards this five sense, it's like a frog living in a well. How many oceans are there? How many seas are there? How many rivers are there? How many wells are there? If the frog ends up living in a small well, what a big miss. The majesty of the ocean is missed. The elegancy of river is missed. It's a big shift in life. But as human beings, most of the human beings, they end up living in a small well of sense perception. It's a very big loss in the journey. When the life is itself is getting limited to such a purview of limited sense oriented body experience perception and you go to job, you have relationships, you construct house, you do everything based on this restriction. Of course, a frog which is living in a well, it does everything based on living in the well. Then how a flourishing is possible? To flourish, the first and foremost thing what you need to understand is who you are and by what you are made up of. That's what I meant if we ask the question of by what you made up of, 99% of the population, they can't answer this question. They tell only body and mind. How many people know they are made up of five sheets? We call it as Panchakosha. The body sheet, the energy, the mind, the wisdom and soul. Now, the whole society is established based on body orientation. Or some things people do with the mind orientation. How many restaurants are there on this planet to feed the food for the body? I don't want to call it as nourishing the body. Nourishment is different. Feeding is different. Feeding satisfies the hunger. Nourishment satisfies the flowering or facilitates the flowering. No nourishing restaurants. Nourishing restaurants are rarest of the rare on this planet. That is another issue. Feeding restaurants are there to satisfy your hunger. That itself indicates only a society is functioning which represents the body and mind. 
even there is no study practice availability expressions organized methodology or anything based on energy based on wisdom based on soul until the awareness about the panchakosha meaning five sheets of human being happens any flourishment is difficult because flourishing means a comprehensive a totality of functional expression flourishing is the awareness of who you are let's take an example of the state of flourishment suppose you are just sitting on a chair in your room now it appears oh i am sitting on a chair in my room i am doing nothing life is waste see one of those concept what society has if you are simply sitting you are wasting life many times in canada i face some questions when i used to visit canada there is a such a ignorance about meditation people will ask as a common question oh if you meditate you are wasting time you are doing nothing then why you are closing your eyes and sitting still life means we have to do something <laughs> see the entirely different way how a society is programmed to look at a situation for example for example you are sitting in home as i indicated before on the chair now you feel you want to see paris from wherever you are you want to travel to paris and you want to see the, the eiffel tower i don't know what is the uh, fantastic thing about the tower when i where even in my textbooks what the stupid stupid people made in the education so they, they even uh, one of the seven wonders of the world or something the eiffel tower i was looking from any angle what is speciality in it just some iron structure like uh, at all why they made it such a big thing actually nothing is there and they call it as one of the wonders or something very big attractive and i really it was a astonishment for me in in, in a way like oh why they call it like that suppose you want to see the eiffel tower let's say you want to go to paris now you are sitting in the chair why that idea flashes in your mind that by going to paris by seeing the eiffel tower or being in paris the traveling that exposure to that uh i will give get something which i can see which i can perceive or which i can experience oh through that i can express my life something like that a program happens based on uh, your experience but at the same time another vision comes you are sitting on the chair just little wider beyond the well of your experience based life if you begin to see the life oh i am going to paris by catching a flight this planet earth is moving in the space so fast it travels in many thousands of kilometers speed in just an hour it travels 
that is not the one movement you are not only moving like this you are moving like this also and you are not moving like this you are not moving like this the whole solar system is also moving and you are not moving like this you are not moving like this you are not moving only with the solar system whole galaxy is moving the two in hundreds and thousands of kilometers speed in the end if you see for one second in one second like this till now even if you consider the scientifically understood facts each and every person moves to thousands of kilometers speed in one second in one second so that amazing thing is happening around me in the same nature where i am living and from where all this is created that source is within me the causal part of my self expression which is the reason the consciousness which is manifesting the whole nature so then a shift will happen in your expression oh why just to travel to paris i travel to myself by traveling to paris what experience gives millions times rich experience will happen in terms of wisdom you can't call it as a experience in relationship to what you experience based on sense perception is the a kind of knowingness at the level of wisdom being that itself that's what patanjali explains in his third chapter the special powers or whatever you call it's not an illusion or imagination so it's a, a different way of living life where instead of perceiving you can live by being that itself because you are aligning to the consciousness so like this many possibilities are there for which you can utilize your time called life to explore then that is a true flourishing of the society for the true flourishing of the society you need to understand by what i am made up of what is panchakosha meaning five sheets or five layers what creates me and this creation so then when you know yourself then a clarity will come about how to express life so if you are blind whatever the way you walk it will be a problem because you are blind you have all the chance to bump in the same way you are blind about your own self about your own who you are for establishing a flourishing society the first and foremost basic thing needed is to know who you are by knowing who you are you can be good parent by knowing who you are you can be good teacher by knowing who you are you, you can be good doctor engineer scientist whatever because that basic understanding changes the way you act now in this modern society so called modern society flourishing is happening in a way if you consider the technological developments what's happening some innovations are happening is these innovations are really flourishing see flourishing has some positivity in it innovations has a probability in it see innovation is it aligning to flourishing or what then why they are bombing each other why they are killing each other how many machine guns are there if you count the machine guns there are millions of machine guns are there on this planet thousands thousands of atomic bombs are there 
how much violence they express and even through social media how much privacy of your is stolen and how the mind is influenced to think what is good what require uh, to for what your time and energy is spent that is decided by a mass technology that is very danger if you see the generations nowadays kids are so addicted to instagram youtube facebook uh, for all kinds of online presence they are so addicted that will be a very big challenge in future why because your mind can be influenced such a technology is there and what we call as all algorithms of how facebook is made how youtube is made have you ever in your experience until unless you have a control suppose you are searching to watch a video on meditation for example uh, you are searching in youtube ask yourself consciously have you ended up only watching meditation or you ended up watching other videos also just the algorithms of the youtube is so built using the artificial intelligence that you are made to engage being an adult if you are made to engage by artificial intelligence how the kids are that hard you terrible video games and all such things just it's a, a one of the terrific things what we can imagine what's happening in the society like this even though innovations are there technically we can't tell it's contributing for the flourishing of the society of course in certain things like in terms of uh, medical medical science where operations need to be done a replacement of the eye kidney there innovations are helping us to flourish that's why innovations <coughs> nourishes you or perishes you depends on to what extent individual members understand who they are <coughs> if you don't know who you are all the innovations will have a danger edge also to that it's like a knife which can cut the vegetable can cut the hand also can cut the neck also the first and foremost work what need to happen in the society is to understand the people who they are to create this space where they can stay with their self to bring a new way of functioning where it's not a competition to live each other it's a coexistence under which we all share this presence time on this planet what a quite opposite thing is happening and how many centuries even now also human beings are aggressively having war and why we are here on this planet to live to celebrate to be happy to share like is a joy of the gift of this creation to live and where we are and for centuries after centuries again and again what we are doing in the name of life it's very insane why because actually there is no flourishment happening in a right way only innovations and progress in trying to get the comfort the the concept what they have that that will give comfort to me for that people are living and now the artificial intelligence guided mindset it's not at all easy to even to connect with the children to own parents they are like artificial robots human so this will be a great challenge in the coming days what humanity will face meaning they miss the touch with their own self they miss the touch by knowing who they are 
or else you will have a set of people who have illusions and imaginations of oh i belong to that soul this world uh, like such a kind of illusionary spiritual dimension people or artificial intelligence based generation only two people will be surviving so that we can't call as a flourishment of the society people has to come forward they take they should take the leadership and they should understand this and reorganize the whole family functioning society functioning to create a a world in a different way for this education system parentage and how everything is executed as actions in this world the whole approach need to change that will start by knowing the self key is there key is at the knowing the self the path is panchakosha meaning understanding the functionality and the presence of the five sheets and organizing that so that is the path for flourishment or success that's why by understanding this even uh, we had a program called ashuddhi kshaye now the name is changed as panchakosha retreat say ashuddhi kshaye is also very beautiful terminology from patanjali yoga sutra but it is difficult for people to make the understand the depth and essence of ashuddhi kshaye but with the panchakosha uh, which can be extended and which can be treated layer by layer and making the people and they can be made completely toxin free a, a kind of uh, detoxification at the level of self expression till now we had panchakarma retreats concerning to ayurveda which treats only body to some extent they tell they treat mind but they don't do anything about mind it's gone so they give some treatment to the body and they used to call it as panchakarma so the next higher level of uh, treating the human being is coming that is panchakosha retreat so that's why we switched from ashuddhi kshaye to panchakosha uh, retreat which will be more holistic and complete approach for uh, getting purification and to find the self and to choose a path of that self expression in the life ahead so from that angle also we are creating some possibilities for human beings so like this to create a flourishing society we all has to work together stage by stage it takes some time but this panchakosha retreat will be one of the fantastic things that will happen for humanity And that's i can assure you very innovative deep practices which brings you to know yourself and to remove what you are not see what is needed in life is to drop what you are not that's all needed in fact that is the ashuddhi kshaye process so when ashuddhi kshaye happens your pure self begins to express pure self means which is distributed as pancha koshas as pancha five layers of your expression when the five layers of expression begins to express as it is without any impurities attached to it that's a very beautiful journey what anyone can experience in life so towards that this course will be aligning it's a 21 day program through that we can create a flourishing society hmm. 
Any other questions? Can you repeat? Like, is it instead of nourishing the, instead of feeding us, is it possible that at one point, because now when I sit, it feels that <coughs> sense perception established the stillness. Like, thanks to them, uh, there is something else that can be sensed. Is it possible? See, that possibility, it's possible, that possibility will arise when you begin to perceive yourself. See, when you begin to perceive yourself, you will be perceiving without senses. Because sense perception is needed always to perceive something else. So here only the perception process will be there. Of course, even you, if you call it as sense perception, it is a language what we use. In the end, perceiving your own self automatically creates the stillness. Because any movement will end up perceiving something else. In movement, you have to perceive something else. In stillness, you will be perceiving yourself. So, sense perception has a link to stillness at that level. So, then you perceive, you are still. The more still you are, the more probability of perceiving your own self. That's why stillness of the body, stillness of the breath and stillness of the mind is given so important which allows you to perceive more and more yourself. Next, any other questions? Yeah, how should that look like if we are living in a flourishing uh, society? So can you say something about that? The question is how it will look like when a society is flourishing. When a society is flourishing in a right way, there will be no army, there will be no police, there will be no aggression. Everywhere, celebration, peace, love, affection, and it becomes a kind of heaven we can tell. Because this planet earth has everything in it. Even today, they made an analysis. The food produced can feed 20 times more human beings. It's furthermore, but minimum it can feed 20 times more than what human beings are living and lot of food is wasted. So unnecessarily, because it's all produced just as a marketing strategy or uh, some food even they throw to the ocean or unwanted uh, areas just to keep the price of the food in the market. They do many things like that. But we have resource, what I mean to say. There is no limitation for our resource. In that flourishing society, resource will be shared by all and they, basically they all know for what they are here. If you are here, then if you have a question for what I am here, am I here to kill someone or shoot someone or to argue with someone or to control someone or to fight with someone, am I here for it? That will be very clearly understood. I am here to be peace to be affectionate, to be loving, to celebrate, to be in dance. Just we are temporary travelers. See, when you are in 
in train for what you are in train you know suppose even if you are traveling for 8 hours in the train let's say you are moving from one city to another you have boarded a train and when you are sitting inside the train you know for what you are there that's why you will not make unnecessary arrangements see when you are traveling in a train you know just it's a 8 hours you are sitting there you are not taking a blender from your kitchen or a chai making utensils or a bed you will not carry so like that unnecessary arrangements you will not make if you have to make unnecessary arrangements and if you are making it struggle will start you will bring a blender from your home you want to make your own juice trrr. then all the fellow tra travelers will also bring and only one plug is there you fight you bring your bed they will bring their bed where to put in a coach around 70 80 people will be there where is the space that's what happening in the society nobody knows they are temporary travelers on this planet and everybody wants to have many homes um, like many luxury things they want to buy for themselves their children their grandchildren and uh, like at the cost of what either somewhere somebody has to work hard for it losing their own life on other end just for some complexity of the mind the resources are wasted such foolishness will not be there in the society as you know i am in this train for 8 hours you will behave sensibly and in that 8 hours how you feel about your neighbors who are sitting next to you will you fight for a border or a uh, like a fencing or what so the whole angle will change how you approach life as per that you function in the background you know oh i am in the train oh just i want to go to that city that's it in the same way once you know the purpose of your existence on this planet why i am here am i here for x y z reasons or for what and how long i will be here so i see people taking a loan from bank to purchase a house 30 years loan they are at the age of 30 once they take the loan they compulsorily they have to go to work for 30 years they work 60 years and after that they go to hospital regularly they never lived in the home there is no peace so why home loan 30 years every month 1000 or 1500 dollar or in india nowadays see you have to see what happened especially in bangalore which i know few couples committed suicide uh, during corona because they could not pay the monthly installment of the bank because for one one and a half year there was some layoff and they got salary for only few months and from where they bring money to repay the installment and actually the market is closed and nobody is ready to buy the house and even if they are going to sell for very low cost people are asking then what way they have to repay their loan they don't have job and thinking that they will have job they bought already some millions of uh, like loan from the bank many couples who are working in software industry they commit suicide committed suicide for the commitment of 
house, so called. See the imbalance. See, if you are intelligent, in India it is not so difficult as Europe to own a small house. If you have that sense without any much loan or anything, with uh, just a simple one or two bedroom house, it's very easily it can be done. But people beyond their capacity, they go to loan in the bank and take and they suffer, they committed. That's always an insane way of living. So such non-clarity way of living will not be there. That is the flourishing society. Flourishing society means uh, the citizens who are part of that society, they will have the clarity about life. And what I want, how much I want. I want only one room house, fine. Two room house, fine. People will have three bedroom, four bedroom, five bedroom and they think, oh yeah, if the guest come, for them one room extra. If my children become big, they want their own room. Like there is a crazy way they create unnecessary commitments. So then they are stuck in life. So instead of having five, four, three bedrooms, one bedroom, okay. My children can sleep in the hall, what is, why not? Why they want to have their own room? You know, a child having its own room, separate room, is not good. Till the age of minimum, minimum, 14 or 16. Having their own room, definitely not good. Because they are a very young, tender mind, they, that too with this internet and all, how they spend their, utilize their energy and time. People should be around them to guide, to monitor. So in the name of creating a free society. See the result, what is going on in the West. Nobody can control any kid which is 10, 12, 14, 16, that is my life, my space, I live, totally egoistic. Irreparable, egoistic way of living. All these things will not be there. We have a saying in the local language, which says, you will spread your leg only up to where your bed is, your mattress is. Meaning, to stay simple. If you stretch your leg beyond the mattress, it is not a comfortable feeling. So you should stretch your leg only up to the mattress. In the same way, you should stretch for the resources only up to where you can easily reach and try to find a peaceful settlement in it. Not like, I want this, you see others, and as an example, you want to adapt that to in your life. So this comparative way of living will not be there in that society. The first and foremost thing, the first and foremost thing, what happens with a flourishing soul is or to a person who has understood himself or herself, the first and foremost thing what happens is they will live not by comparing to anyone. Oh, they have a house, I need to have. They have such a such a house, I need to have. Oh, they have made such an interior, now I have to make. It's so like we are to see Nowadays, especially the trend is going on in India, they construct the house and they spend millions of money to decorate the interior. A roof is there, it's not enough. Even to that roof, 
they make some designs and plastering by borrowing loan. See, if you have money, if you are a, a, like, a, if you want to create something artistically beautiful, you spend to the last penny and that's nice. But it's not like I borrow from bank and decorate. It's like a, I take loan from bank, I put lipstick on my lips. No, then don't put the lipstick. Be natural. So to borrow loan and put, that is not good. No, in the same way, borrow loan from the bank and decorate the house. And you suffer for it. Then you go job for decades and loan repayment. That is a very, that's what, non-clarity way of who you are, your simplicity, your connection to day-to-day -day actions, your connection with the other people and how you have to see the functioning of the others. Nobody will become an example for to keep your status. So it's always human mind. See, if you see the mind, how it functions, it's always a funny to see people who are living in huts. If they are seeing us, oh, I should have a nice hut. Now if you go to the group of people seeing in small houses, oh, I want to have a big house. In the same way, for example, a king from Mysore, by chance if he goes to the house of the king in Netherlands, or queen, whatever. Oh, this palace is nice. Oh, I can decorate my palace like this. See the comparison. Always it's a human mind to compare, compare, compare and try to get it. For that, life is wasted. So such a kind of chasing the complexity of the mind will be there. Instead of chasing the complexity of the mind, Settling in the simplicity will happen. Just settling. Even in my room where I stay now, somehow, some place we had to vacate and somehow some chairs and some nice things are there which you can sit like a sofa set or whatever. Constantly I am looking to give it away, give it away, give it away. Because that creates so much space and uh, it's easy, it's simple, you no know, need to clean every day. And if you sit, sit, you put a mat and slice it on the floor. Such a way of simple. See, most of you are sitting on the floor now. How easy, how simple. And when you are eating, why you need a dining table? A floor level dining table is beautiful, easy to maintain, less cost. So individual way of seeing what is requirement. Not a collective society mindset which decides what is required. So your mind is not influenced by that uh, uh, mass Conclusions, history, I think, you will be independent, a true independent. Ah, I, for my life, for my comfort, oh, these are the arrangements required, only that. If you have capacity, do it. Always stretch your leg up to the mattress. If you stretch beyond, either you will be cold or something will pinch. <coughs> Any other questions? You have, Inga? Yes. How 
can align more the body mind and body emotion. How to align body mind and body emotional? Emotional body. See here, first of all, proper understanding should be there about who am I. When I travel to the West, I see a lack of understanding. Even sometimes I hear in, uh, in the spe speeches of Eckhart Tolle. He has written a book called Power of Now. Of course, it's a very nice book. But he uses pain body. But when you know who you are, it's a very a kind of not a nice or a proper word to use pain body. Who It means you don't know the knowledge of the layers of your self-expression. Of course, it's a name. He may be indicating something uh, that's XYZ reason, but pain body or uh, some people they use like this emotion body and that too with the European people they have a lot of things with the heart. Uh, like many practices to open the heart, that one, this one, and the transfer. All those things are like a very, like a childish play. Because uh, you don't know the, the basic anatomy of yourself. You may be knowing physical anatomy. You should know what is meant by body. Of course, many of us know what is body. Then you should know what is energy. In that energy, five sub-energy, prana, five sub-pranas are there. What are their function? How it functions? And what variation it will have? Then comes the mind. In mind, what is ego? And of course, what is mind, what is intelligence, and what is called as chitta in totality of all this. And when it comes to wisdom, what is individual wisdom, existential wisdom, manifestation wisdom, the causal wisdom, or what is soul, what is individual soul, what is paramatma, meaning the divine soul, what is the soul beyond all this. So like this, a very well organized Methodology is there to know yourself. And this usage of terminologies, uh, use having the picture of who you are at the existential level, that is very important. So first of all, you should understand there is no emotional body. It's a terminology you may be using for emotion. Meaning, in what way I am telling is, see for example, when you consider emotional body, finish, you will be never be able to solve any emotional problems. Because which is body, how it can die, if your body dies, will you be able to alive? Pain body. Body itself means which continues to exist till you are alive. He tells frequently pain body, pain body, what it will cause in your mind. You begin to believe in it or something concrete which exists. See, on one end you tell, actually there is nothing called pain, suffering or any such thing doesn't exist. It's all your own created thing. It's your own illusions and imagination and ignorances which brings the pain and suffering. So, which is not there, actually, for that you are giving a form and shape and body and a concrete feeling that, oh, I have a pain body. 
missed. So once you begin to accept you have a pain body, you, it can't be uh, dissolved. Once you begin to think I have an emotional body, it can't be altered. See, if you have two hands, can it be altered? You can cut your hand and it is very painful or you can operate and join one more hand. Always it's a one or the other thing. One way or the other is always a problem. Because a body has a structure and form. In the same way, there is no emotional body. First, take that out from your mind. Your emotions are very diffusible, very easy. It is situation based. It's karmic based. It's just a mind based. It's created by you. And if you believe it is there, if you don't believe it is not there. And your emotions has no importance at all. I know, smile. <laughs> this is where people struck. They think my emotions are important. Why? Why your emotions need to be important? You can be very easy with your emotions. People carry the burden of their emotions. So emotions are a beautiful things, a, a kind of. See, as you have some expressions, you have some expression called emotion, a mother expression with a child, between partners, between co-human beings, the love and affection, caring each other. It's all beautiful. And also, it's not a burden. Emotion is a beauty what you carry without any weight. Emotion is a beauty what you carry without feeling any weight of it, without any burden of it, without any heaviness of it. But if you see the whole planet, most of the people, they are heavy in their emotions. With their emotions, they attack all the people. <laughs> and your emotions are so precious they should be celebrative they should be uh, like full of celebration happiness, easy and having the space for everything it's not like once the emotional body it becomes it occupies a space and it demands space wherever you go with whomever you are and you are always separated, egoistic and all those things. So first of all, understand there is nothing called emotional body. Your emotions are a state, just a normal state, which brings in a way how you connect with another human beings or animals or other living things or some people are uh, emotional about mountains, trees also. It's not about only living thing or non-living thing. In the end, your emotions are your sensitivity. That's it. Sensitivity, if it is organized, is very beautiful. Sensitivity, if it is disorganized, the same thing can be fear. The same thing can always want a a protection layer. For me it appears always uh, so funny when some people ask a question. Uh, I want to uh, like protect my emotions or else my emotions will be damaged. Huh? What you protect, what will be damaged? That means your emotions are transforming into ego. When it is pure emotions, if it is egoless emotion, it is for others. If somebody is crying, they, if they are crying, oh, I, did, I, I didn't get something, it's like a childish cry. If you cry for the other, that is a, a, a kind of different state egoless state. So, when you are understanding your emotions, don't be heavy on it, don't give any value for it and 
it has no value. Your emotions don't value it because on one end it is priceless, meaning you can't fix a price. It is very, very precious. On other end, it's nothing. So it's nothing and it's very precious also, depending on with whom you are, how you are. So be easy with it. And it's not at all a difficult thing. It's not at all a heavy thing. It's not at all a thing you have to carry always with you as an emotional body. It is a natural happening as a result of who you are. So from this direction, you can approach and become easy. Because most of the people have this issue with the emotions. They value too much their emotions and they identify they are their emotions. Oh, my emotions are so valuable. It's all a mind constructed thing. Hmm? Leave it. Okay. Thank you all. All the best.